Hello! Hello guys! Welcome back to our channel! How are you today? So for today's video guys, I'm going to show you how I propagate my Rex begonias, my colorful begonias. So, and so I will start by showing you what kind of soil I'm using. So this soil is, is a wet soil and it's a plain. No pumice, no perlite, no fertilizer. It's just a plain soil. So, and it's wet. And also, I'm going to use not matured, not too young leaves. It's just uh, normal leaves or I mean not, not too young. So this is the leaf of a red kiss begonia, the fairy begonia. Uh, this one, I think this is the red robin begonia, the fedor begonia, tiger begonia, and the black sky begonia but it's not black it's red so this is the black sky begonia so let's start now okay what i'm going to do first is i will cut this just like that it's very easy okay and then I will just cut into half. Oh, cut into two. I will just cut the leaves and I will put here. Okay. This one, this the the new leaves or new babies will will sprout here. Okay, so we're going to do like this. Okay. This is what I really like or love to do propagating. So it's very easy. Just like that. And then sometimes I will just who I will just use the whole leaf instead of uh, cutting it into two. Like this one. The black the black sky begonia. This is the black sky begonia. So like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, I'm not sure if this is the angel wing begonia or the polka dot begonia. So just like this. Too close. I'll just like this. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And then this, the red keys, red keys begonia. Then this one, this is the tiger. This is the tiger begonia. I'll just cut like this. Okay. And then the red robin, but I'm not sure if this is the red robin. I have a little begonia, a little leaf here. 
I'll just do that. Okay. So. Let's. Yeah, there are so many different kinds or vari varieties of begonia, begonias. There are bigger begonias or, oh no. Like that. This is very easy. If you will just propagate the leaves or the cuttings, you will have more plants without buying. <laughs> and that's the point, right? That's why we want to propagate. To have more and to spend less money yay that yeah practical thinking okay just like this okay if you will use if you will use dry soil you can you can spray water or you can spray water or water the soil so that it will become wet but if it's wet just leave it like that and then and then you will just cover it okay let's put this here just like this so by the way guys uh, I'm using a recyclable container like this. So I'm going to leave it there, cover it, and then this container I will put I will put on uh, to a to a place where it's um uh, shaded but it's bright area like this. And then it will and then you don't need to water it because like this it, it is covered it will create moisture here like i will i will i will show you a picture or a, or a short clip later okay i'll just it, uh it will create moisture and then the humidity inside that will help the the propagation to become successful and then I will also put a picture how it looks like when the the leaves started to sprout new babies or new leaves. Okay, so like that. And then like this. This is a fairy tale, a fairy begonia, begonia. So the mother leaf is still there. So this is also, as you can see, this is also leaf propagation. The mother leaf is still there. Can you see it this one so this is the new babies or new pops like that they love a uh, moist soil and high humidity while they are growing so the next the next uh, thing that I will show you is my DIY incubator so after after we put all the leaves here uh we will wait like 25 days and then you will see that the roots will start to sprout and then new babies and then after that i will just wait another um few weeks more 
so I can transfer I can tra I can transfer them to a pot like this in a pot like this so what's next after you transfer or repot the the mother leaf and the new baby in a pot so that's what i'm going to show you again okay so guys uh this is the new babies yeah this is how it looks like when when they already grew grow new babies and this is uh ready this is ready to to repot oh no i mean to transfer in a in a bigger pot so this is how it looks like Oh, no more mother leaf. These are all babies. So, yeah, I'll just, I'll just prepare my pots so I can transfer them. Or maybe I'll just do it tomorrow because I need to buy soil mix so this is how it looks like yeah okay this is the tiger begonia baby tiger begonia the fairy uh, the fairy begonia fairy begonia mm -hmm. i don't uh i don't know what are these so but these are all begonias baby begonias so that's it for today's guide on our next uh see you on our next video and i will show you my diy incubator on, on our next video uh, guys thank you for watching my video and thank you for supporting me and please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you guys stay safe see you on our next video